it's one of the reasons I got the um, I built the gaming launcher is because of this the whole desktop thing. And I mean, I think I've mentioned this before, but I, I don't think Steam games are supposed to be played through this platform. Obviously, and I've mentioned this again. I've mentioned this before. It's one of these things where the only reason it is it's using Arch Steam OS and it's just sitting on top of it. It doesn't really want to be in desktop mode. It wants to be in game scope. So if you focus trying to get your games to work in game scope, I think you'll have an easier time. I mean, obviously, I mean, it's, um, it's a Wayland compositor. I mean, Gamescopes. Let's do storage. Let's attach my games drive at games select add drive. Yep. Now that'll appear on there. Now, the other thing I need to do, and some I don't mention this in another video. Someone said you shouldn't do this. You don't need to do this, but it just seems to help. When you go to compatibility, now I'll in, install my games thing. So Proton GE appears on here straight away. So experimental. I'm going to restart that. But yeah, long term, I will do some tests between them. I mean, I don't think it's the right time to do it today um, with this, but I'm going to have to sit down and like, benchmark them against each other okay so all these updates like downloads these are all the validations has to do with the validation let's shut that down use the games launcher exit games launcher super shift s and we're into this and we want to go to 1440p i want mango hard and we should fire up game scope now and we'll be in like i said when i just did the base install of steam and tried to play a game on this platform it just nothing works um you need the additional packages and here we are big picture mode